Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag 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 hashtag, hashtag the cannons. C C T V. All right, guys, welcome. Welcome back to our eating shit. Shit. Yeah. All right, guys, so today we will be doing another mukbang for you. Today we have a seafood bowl. In just a minute, we're going to get into this bowl and I'll explain everything that we got. Real quick, Dan's going to hit you with a few things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then thereafter hit that post notification bell so that you don't miss any time that we upload and give this video a thumbs up. Like it and share it. That's right, guys. Do please, it all. Please. <laughs> Please show us some love, guys. Remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Um, by the time you see this video, we should be right at 9K subs, and that's just amazing for us. Mm -hmm. We want to thank each and every one of you for your support, your love, all your comments, everything. So we really just thank you there. Um, guys, remember, if you'd like to get your own Coda Swatter bottle, just check out the link in the description box below. If you like 10% off your order, all you got to do is use the code CANNONS with one N. That's CANNONS with one N. And that'll get you 10% off your entire purchase at thecodaswatter.com. All right, guys. About to say grace, and then we go get to eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to do bless this food, let it be nourishing to our bodies. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. So what we have here is we have some big old tiger prawns. <laughs> and also, we got some sausage in this bowl. We got um, a little bit of corn. Like I said, sausage. Got some colossal shrimp and um, uh, just lemon for uh, squeezing. Got some sweet peppers in front. Um, didn't have any potatoes today. Um, we just didn't feel like potatoes, so no, no potatoes. Um, <laughs> and right here, this is uh, the Eat With Q whiskey butter sauce that we have today. Um, we've tried it once before, and this we just decided that we're gonna eat that with this today, so um, that's what we have. And so, we're gonna get the smacking and eating and smacking and burping. Uh uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing at? You know I'm all smacking and burping. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, I ain't trying to put on nobody on black. So I ain't gonna say the name, but when we first started YouTube, you know, when you start YouTube, you you trying to, you know, do whatever, you know, do what you think works for your channel or what you should do. And, and mukbangs, you know, I guess some people figure, people watch mukbangs for, you know, eating sounds like ASMR, and, you know, and um, things like that. But there was one person who started around the same time we did, and every title was smacking and burping, mm -hmm. smacking and burping. What? We got a kick out of that. We said, why? Keep on every time talking about smacking and burping. <laughs> Let me get that. You don't be you getting that butt off top. Uh -uh, I did get in there. You got to get that flavor, girl. You know, how it tastes. Great name. <laughs> what I say every time, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I put on a shirt I ain't care about. Mm -hmm. I'm talking food with these butter sauces. Mm-hmm. AJ, did you forget the eggs? I forgot the eggs. No, I have no eggs today. <laughs> I can get them out. All right, y'all, so I knew my list seemed a little shut when I was explaining what was in here. Mm -hmm. I forgot the boiled eggs, but they bite. Mm-hmm. There ain't nothing sausages, but huh. you cover them onions. Mm -hmm. Them onions. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's the first thing I eat. <laughs> All right. I, I was sitting over too. there. Hmm? I in your bowl too. A bowl. Yeah, in your bowl too. Oh. We don't want to have to reach.
So I'll uh, about to really dig into this or get into this problem. These some big old suckers. These are tiger prawns. By the way. Look at that big old jugger right there. Mm -hmm. I wanna play. You play what? I said I wanna play. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> oh, what a way to start a Monday. Seasoning is mm -hmm. just the bomb, boy. These shrimp are what I want. Uh -uh. These shrimp are what I want. These shrimp are what I want. For my life. For my life. <laughs> For my life. It's so good, man. <laughs> I should have rolled these lemons before I cut them because this one I already tried to squeeze on. Look at this. Mm. That's too much work. <laughs> well, I really want some, some lemon, but I ain't about to catch a cramp. Not a cramp. Can't even write my name because I'm squeezing lemons. <laughs> Mmm, -hmm, baby. Mmm, sausages is good. <laughs> you what? Mmm, sausages is good. They are. So suckle up. You like these other red hots better in here? It's about the same people. Oh, it is. But it tastes about the same. Mm hmm. It just don't look the same. <laughs> right. Like I said, in the past, my mama bring home a red hot. I knew it was gonna be a good day. <laughs> For real. Mm -hmm. I take them on a bun with some mustard. Mm -hmm. That's all I care. You got to have that mustard. <sighs> it's like all the flavor went into the onions. Mm -hmm. Like you get some of the onions, and the onions taste like. Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. totally different. Apologize if I'm looking a little crazy. <laughs> we a little dusty. I'm looking a little messy. Mm -hmm. That's how I pulled it because my I didn't get my supposed to get a haircut on Saturday, but I canceled the appointment because I'm supposed to be going somewhere. Then that got canceled. And so we didn't go and I could have I could got my haircut, but what my fault. It's cool or whatever. Because next time that happens, I won't cancel until the last minute. <laughs> until I absolutely don't like get into the cancellation deadline to where they gonna he gonna take my money either way. Don't torture me. Okay. I'm over here looking crazy. I'm <laughs> like I like the convenience of being able to um, go online and you know book appointments without having to call you or text you. But the only bad part is that, honey, that style seat. Wow. You forget or don't show up or something if you want to. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> you gonna wish you had sat in that seat? Well, it's usually like what I think it depends on the person. But mm -hmm. well, I can counsel with my mom up until the last twenty four hours and so. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, which I think it's like that because he knows he's not gonna miss that money. Right. Somebody gonna take the spot. Right. He's usually booked. Like if I want an appointment, if I want an appointment on Thursday. I usually have to probably have booked by Monday or 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 Tuesday at the latest. Mm -hmm. Probably if I'm lucky Tuesday, but most time. I want an appointment that upcoming Thursday. Mm -hmm. If I plan on getting a cut on the, at the end of the week, I ain't by, I ain't booked my Wednesday, so <laughs> I ain't not gonna be there. You free? Okay. It's like Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Everybody, it's like they get all the weekend dates. It's like if you go, if I haven't booked, I want something on the weekend. It's open. I know for you, you probably enjoy that better than walking in, right? Yeah, of course. Because I used to tell you, I had to take my brother when I was younger. And, oh my God. Go at the wrong time if you want to. I don't want to sit in here. <laughs> no. I do not. I be calling my mom. Do he really got to go? <laughs> I hate that. And I'm a dude. I hate sitting in there waiting, man. It's like the worst. And like I was telling AJ one time, I like sitting in salons and barbershops and stuff like that. It's still right here. Uh huh. Sitting in barbershops and salons and stuff like that. I ain't never enjoyed that. Never. I used to go to this one person. Mm. And he had you in there a whole work shift. Mister, I want to do other things today. <laughs> to get my hair done. So you stuck at the shop out there. In there, there eight hours. Which I think some of that probably was because all of us was going at the same time, like my aunts and my mom and whatever else. But still, I want to go home. No, <laughs> yeah, do it. Mm. Woo! Make your hair pop off. Huh? You so good. You eat your pepper. Hmm? You eat your pepper. <laughs> you eat yours. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't expect for me to eat my pepper. Like, they already know Danny ain't going to eat the pepper. They know that. I'm going to just sit there. I thought about it. It crossed my mind. I said, maybe i do it today. It's still sitting there. Don't sleep on the butter that's in here. Well, what? This is the butter that the truck and stuff cooked in. Look at me trying to push. It's good. <laughs> it's got all that mm. seasoning in there. Mm -hmm. mm. Was well, there ever things that your mama would say to you when you was younger that you didn't understand then that you understand now? Mm. What's she talking? Oh, go right. uh, ahead. Well, yeah. What she used to say, you building a brick wall or something, <laughs> something like that. Well, she's like, which, which, I know what she meant after a while. Right. Because after you hear it enough, you get it. And she's like, um, she's saying that um, I'm already, uh, already in trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm already, um, on my, on my way to being in trouble. Mm -mm. And I keep on. Keep on keeping on. One that I understand more now is you smell like outside. When I was younger, I did not know. I was like, out, what do outside even smell like? You. But now, mm -hmm. honey, I be smelling me smelling like outside. Mm -hmm. And I be like, ooh. And now I know why she be like, get off that bed, change them clothes, go take a bath. Out Nothing was in the right order. Right. Outside and wet dog. Yes, it wet dog. I ain't never know what that smell like either. Till I smell. Till you got a wet dog. <laughs> <Till> you... <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, ooh, to you. And I said, now I see why. To you, to you, um, you transporting your puppies and they get wet in the rain. Right. I mean, you got now to ride I with them. see why there was so much commotion. And there was things like, do I look like Boo Boo the Fool? And I wanted to ask, well, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Boo Boo? <laughs> I don't know what Boo Boo the Fool look like. Right. Wrong answer. Who is Boo Boo? <laughs> My mama was violent, so. Shut up. There's so many things. I own so many things I can say. <laughs> I might get I might uh get my teeth out there. Mm -mm. Your teeth is just... You already in hot water. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I tell you one thing, I bickered and you know would be upset, but I don't take nothing for granted. They taught me no. all that sitting in church. <laughs> Won't let me go nowhere. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> Joan, I'm glad you made me stay home. Joan and Gerald, thank you so much. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I had the worst upbringing, but I just tell you one thing. I knew, <laughs> well, I understood the word no. I know why. <laughs> no, you cannot make you learn some kind of way. <laughs> did you did you hear the one? I'm not one of your little friends. Yes. <laughs> me too. Now you want to be my friend. <laughs> you want to be my friend now. I'm an adult. You think I'm one of your little friends. <laughs> but I'm not. If you blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let me tell you something. My homegirl didn't have time to say I think. I'm not one. <laughs> she straight went to it. I'm not one. I'm not okay. Like I said, I'm all about it. Shut up. <laughs> we did more hitting than anything. <laughs> My bowl about empty. Too many sausages. Mm, I'm about, I'm about done. Mm -hmm. I'm not empty my bowl. Mm -mm. I only got lemons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I get on one thing and I just keep eating it. Like sausages, that's all I ate today. <laughs> <laughs> sausages and eggs. Mm. That little butter top is good. Oh, yeah, that looks good at the bottom there. <laughs> that's where everything cooked in. Well, the shrimp. So good. Well, 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 well. <laughs> did you, did you, did you? No, 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 please. I knew you was going to do it. I knew you was going to do it. Am I done? Mm, no. Man, every time I eat these shrimps like this, all I can think about when I was younger, like New Year's Eve, my mm -hmm. daddy go get a big bag of bold steamed shrimp and they would just put it across the table and we'd be sitting there at 2 a.m. That's how we did crab legs. <laughs> on, the, uh, on the black My trash black. bag that would cut yep. open. We sitting uh -oh. there at 2 a.m. I'm just like, shouldn't I be in somebody's bed? But I guess not. <laughs> I ain't gonna say, okay. <laughs> and you let me eat shrimp at 2 a.m. Let me explain something to y'all. These eating habits that you might see me have came from me, not my mama. <laughs> we ain't eat past six o'clock. <laughs> you got all three of your meals, and most of the time it was things I didn't want to eat. She just recently found out that when I was younger, I was flushing stuff down the toilet, <laughs> like my vegetables, and she's upset. <laughs> Is it recording? Mm hmm. She's upset that I was flushing. Well, <laughs> am I regretful? Not at all. I remember when I was like, <laughs> I had no problems with like, I think my mom, I don't know, I don't remember really being, 
having problems at home. It was like when I go to my grandma's house. She used to cook them <laughs> stupid green beans all the time. Now, I eat green beans as an adult now, but when I was younger. They just still talk junk about I green hate beans. About, I junk. hated them green beans when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I hated them. So now I'll eat them. But I used to have to sit at the table with them <laughs> stupid green beans. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> Just let me go. Why do I gotta eat these? Tell you something right now. I'll be gagging. <laughs> trying to eat them. I'll be like, oh. You ain't have me at the table with no vegetables because I got something for you. I'll Toilet, be, trash. I'll be gagging. Soon as she break that corner, honey, I'll be straight for the toilet. Take this broccoli toilet. You'll love it. But so I sure don't. And my eating times were confused when I was a kid <laughs> because my mom always cooked late. Like, not late, but she goes like 8, 9, which is late. And, you know, my grandma, she cooked 6 o'clock. She started cooking at 5 something. So when I be over there, you know, we eat early. Shoot, I'll be hungry. I'll be ready for another meal at 8 o'clock. And she be like, you ain't getting nothing with you. Yeah, you finish And, you know, I'll, I'll leave there sometimes. I go home. I'll be trying to eat again. <laughs> Life of a fat kid. I asked mama, asked me if I ate up my grandma's house. No. <laughs> and she, and she asked me knowing good and well I did because she know my grandma cook early, and my because I, <laughs> I know. Um, all lies. And sometimes you know, uh, my grandma talk to my grandma talk about what she doing. I'm like, oh, like mama cooking so whatever. She's like she just cooking. She just not cooking. But my mama always cook late. <laughs> but um, heck yeah, I didn't like that shit. I'll still be up. Uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> but sometimes it'd be bad if I'm if I'm just that much and I haven't eaten anything. Mm-hmm. Then I'd be like, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm hungry. I never had to worry about it. The only time <clears throat> we would eat past 5 o'clock is if um, she was working late or something prevented us. She had to go to the store. Something prevented us from eating past that time because it was 5 o'clock every day. And my brother... I don't know if he still does this, but he was on such a routine that if it was like 5.30, he's starting to get nervous. Like, when are we eating? Right, what is going on? Eat. Is everybody okay in here? <laughs> I'm just like, it's not that serious if we don't eat right at 5. Like, yeah. he's yeah, he freaking out. He probably thinks somebody. Because you can ask AJ. He calls my family sometimes like a recluse because all of us are like... Even when I was home, we're all in our separate spaces. In a holes. Yeah, like, <laughs> everybody's in a hole. <laughs> and so, honey, it get about 5, 20, 5, 30. You hear the door open in the back and he coming out. <laughs> What's going on? You need me to help. That's bad when he said you need me to help. He ready. Is he ready to eat? I'm just like, it's okay. You ain't got to eat right at 5, like. Honey, he'll come out of that room in a minute. I believe he'll do it now, That's but not I. Good. Huh? That's not good. What? Them pep? Uh uh-uh. uh. That's not good. Well, I ain't trying to. Well, you might not want to. You don't like them anyway, but those, mm-hmm. are, those are not <laughs> right. Now, I thought it was just the red one that I had, but those, mm-hmm. that red one is usually the sweetest out of all of them. It was bitter. Well, nope, I ain't trying it. Not that, today. Uh, not right. today. <sighs> anyway, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. We really do appreciate it, guys. Remember, if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, do us a favor and go ahead and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get it, like this video. We're trying to get a thousand likes on this video. Minimum. A thousand likes. A thousand. Y'all can do it. Get us a thousand, <laughs> thousand. likes. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> also, guys, um, remember to uh, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Uh, share, share, share this video with family and friends because sharing is caring. So, care about us. Care about yeah, us. I mean, think about it. I mean, I think most people just forget to like because, um, you know, we have three, four thousand views and then like, come now, like the video. Thank you, thank you. Show us some love because we'll do the same for y'all. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much. I ain't got nothing else, Danny. Take us on out of here. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag the cannabis. CCTV.
All right, guys, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. All right, guys, today, before we even get in the video, this man got a bonnet yes, on. Yes, I am wearing my wife's bonnet. Hey! What? It is yours. You got like our I bonnet. thought you took it for yourself when you had your your little hair. Yeah, because she told me to, um, yeah, I told him to take that she had to wrap it up. But anyway, y'all, yeah. yeah, I do got on about it because my head is jacked up. Because it's an, it's not, I done slept on it. It's been wet, and I slept on it again. And um, I'm going to show you right here what I look like. And so, no. Yes. I got a bonnet on, no, yes. and I don't cry. Mo, no. I'm not trying to drag your swag, man. I know you the bonnet, man. I'm just trying to not show YouTube uh, or scare the YouTube Dusty. world right now. So, Dusty. anyway, y'all, today we have some Nashville hot lobster tails and snow crab legs. That's what we'll be eating today. And we'll get into all of that in just a minute. But first, Danny's gonna hit you with a couple of signs. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and after hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give this video a thumbs up like. That's right, guys. Hit that button and hit, hit that, that bell. Button. Become part of the family. Guys, remember hashtag grow, baby, grow. Moving closer to our goal of 25K, <laughs> guys. When you see this, we will have just hit 22K. So we're getting very close. So if you're new here and you contributed to it, you've been here, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Time to eat. I'm about to pray. Ooh. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished to our bodies. Right for those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Stop it. Hmm. Slide in. What I want. What first. did I'm gonna eat a lobster first? I think I'm going for one too. You no, you your, don't get one. Get yours. No, I'm joking. Oh, yeah. Is he the right one? Hmm? Is you the one for me? Oh, Ooh, look, it's sitting up, pretty. It's sitting up. All right, so this is what. Boom. Mm -hmm. This one. Boom. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. So, right there. Oh, yeah, she came off there just nice. Let me see. I don't even want to put no sauce on the first. I just wanna. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good. Put that kick, my mm. kick in the mouth. Mm-hmm. Gonna throw. <clears throat> Why as soon as you say throat, I said, ooh. <laughs> mm. Yeah, white meat. Mm. It's good though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How you hear lots there? Mm-hmm. Got some reds. Apple ale. Party favor. <clears throat> It's just some blue cheese, y'all, because I got my celery. I love celery with blue cheese. Oh, Lord. Where it belongs. You wanted it. I did. <laughs> celery tastes like pepper. Mm. Pepper and trash. <laughs> yes, I'm too old to be not eating vegetables. But anyway, y'all pray for me. <laughs> It was good. Mm hmm. It was good. Oh, baby. Who I want? Not that damn celery. Talk about my celery. Let me tell you something. When you gave me that celery when we was juicing that one dumb time, I was three. <laughs> that celery <Ooh>. juice. <laughs> Just try a little taste. Don't just stare at it, eat it. Let me see, I'm gonna have to just take a couple of eggs off. Ooh, yes. Break on off. Celery juice should just not be that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
He good. Oh, she good. Get a little mm, me. Scared. I ain't gonna break her. Come on, don't do it to me. I broke her. Come on now, please. There we go. <laughs> I was so scared for you, baby. Mm -mm. Mm. That sweet heat off that shell. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love a grand leg, boy. Help me. Some people be saying you be sounding like a preacher. That right then. <laughs> that was just a, that preacher energy. No, oh, that gave me preacher vibe. <laughs> huh? I think that one girl was just saying about my voice. All right. Oh. I don't see it. Cause I don't know if you talk like. You don't know what the Lord got in store for you. Okay. That's not, uh -uh. I'm saying I don't see it because I know some people that talk like preachers for real. Yeah. <clears throat> and they be like, so today we're going to be having a, a mukbang and we're going to be eating lobster tails and crab legs. It's just, oh Lord. Did you do it? I broke it in half. It happens. Mm. I just Me came out, so. Oh Lord. What? Oh, yeah, I like I'm in Africa. Uh -huh. Old school Africa or India, India. I mean, Native American. Put something in your neck. You come around here acting up. Uh. -uh. <laughs> 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 what good. did you put on the outside? It's that Nashville hot. It's good. Mm hmm. Same stuff from the lobster. It's it's sweet heat, right? Mm hmm. Get the little brown sugar. You know, I just ate that chip, so this nothing for me. No, I'm like, <laughs> oh. oh, oh shit. Uh -uh. <laughs> let me let me recognize. No, you. no. Let me not even put that washing out. That was wrong. Prissy P, you heard it first. Look. Is she the new Spice Queen? I know I'm not. That's what she said. That ain't what I said. That's what she trying to say. Oh, I'm not. She's a new Spice Queen. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. She said, where your challenge is? No, no. <laughs> Baby, you ain't got to do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Which makes me really happy. What, mm. these crab legs? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's so good. I can eat crab legs and chicken wings. Mm-mm. <sighs> That's the only thing I had to eat. For a year, I could eat it. And if I get tired of it, I just need to go a day. Fast for a day. Trust me. Be all right. Trust me. I come back. Yeah, trust me. The, the craving will come back. Because mm -hmm. I found myself tired of chicken chicken legs and crab legs. Mm -hmm. Chicken wings. I, I've gotten myself to where I'm like, I don't want no chicken. And I think I don't, I'm done with it for a little bit. Two days later. You back? I was like, Man. <laughs> I'm back. I could go for a chicken. Yeah, we get in a restaurant here that's going to be serving wings and crab legs. I'm here keeping away from it. Right, we saw it. And <laughs> you know my eyes was like, they lit up. My eyes have seen the glory. Uh -uh. That is the wing and crab shack. Stop. I said, wing and crab shack. <laughs> Take my mug the money. Hey, son. <clears throat> Call I me, honey. rough today. Ugh. Why am I so rude? You know, that's why I hate these um legs with the claw on it because we do all that. And that little bit of meat that we Stop. I want some of these. Instead of people. Just the claws. And they got the tops off of them so you can just take the meat um. right on there. Uh, I got order some. Because that's right. I bet him. Him. Yeah. Look at that. Like heaven. Mm. 
Honey, heaven. Heaven is a goal. You believe right. If I pray right. I know heaven. Uh-uh. You gonna say heaven with the beer. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't done drinking y'all. What else you got? Got a little sparkling ice. Yeah. I got something for us to talk about, but I hope we make it. <laughs> Berry lemonade flavor today. Ooh, got a little mug on them. Y'all, you know, we used to use these mugs. Mm -hmm. But then one of them took a tumble. Scarlet. <laughs> some scenarios mm -hmm. right and we have to consider whether we think they are cheating or not mm -hmm. I love cheating I'm just... Taylor's ex-boyfriend Rob says he wants to get back together with her and he invites Taylor out to get coffee Taylor says yes is this cheating uh, so you said she's together with somebody and um, Taylor and James have been dating for a year. I'm suggesting, I guess, they're together. I mean, oh, they dating. So. I feel like if you, you think you would say boyfriend, right? Um, it was just what it said. They've what, been dating. dating. Okay. But then yes, they've been dating for a year. Taylor's ex-boyfriend <coughs> Rob says he wants to get back together with her, and he invites Taylor out to get coffee. Taylor says yes. Is she cheating? Just as bad as she. Yeah, Taylor, you don't need to go, baby. Because yeah, that's wrong. you're entertaining the idea like yeah. that. Yeah. And you with somebody? Even if your intentions ain't to get back with him, you must got some kind of inkling. Well, if he told her that's why he wanted to come out, and she went. Then you probably should already know If this. her boyfriend find out, he got every right to break up with her. Yeah. Simply because he told her what was up. In fact, but why is you, regardless, if I'd be like, why is you having coffee and drinks or whatever with your ex anyway? Right. Period. Not period. Period. -tu. Is that what y'all say? Stop. So tell her cheating her. She cheating. Trifling alpha. AJ. <laughs> why we own this part of cheating, y'all? So I have this girl phone number that apparently... When she changed her number, she should have decided not to give it to nobody. But this boy the other day going to text her, talking about, hey, blah, blah, I've been thinking about you and how we ended was wrong, and I'm sorry for what I did. I hope you can accept my apology or something. Something towards the fact that I want to get back with you. And I said, this is Danielle. And I said, I hope you find her. It might be the love of your life. Danielle is better than me. Cause hey, I would, what would you have said? I would have said, hell no, nah, you dirty blank blank. Hey, I yeah. don't want you no more. I would have made it. I would have played with him. You never I might know. not even came right out. And, did that. I might not have really came out and, out and even let him know it like like that. I would have said, do you really think I should forgive you? <laughs> I would have messed with him so long. I was not about to mess with that boy, honey. Difference between me and you. I said, I hope you find her. Because I do hope he find her. Nah, he messed up apparently. What, well, what he, he might have grew up. What he did. What did he do? <laughs> he might have <laughs> grew up. He just slept with her mama. You don't know. Lynn, if you out there, he looking for you. No, I'm just. He, uh, she said he slept with my mama. Who would have let that shit go? Another crab leg. Dang. All right, so this next one is. Sorry, y'all, for the mess. It's so juicy. Uh-uh. Kel has just recently started dating again. On Monday, she went on a date with Lily and agreed to go out on a second date. 
On Friday, she gets asked out on a date by Zoe and says yes. But she's already agreed to a second date with Lily. Is this cheating? How is cheating? You ain't even with the No. Person. That's not no cheating, huh? You ain't with him. That's keeping your options Careful. open. Okay. You got to let these folks know. Might be a little <laughs> trifling to cancel. Yeah. But it ain't cheating. Who I'm cheating on? Because if, if, if Homegirl... Just reschedule. If Homegirl try to tur uh, turn up... I'm saying... I can't believe you cheating on me. That's a red flag. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna talk to you no way. Better let that go. Cheating on you? Cheating? Yeah, Drake? <laughs> Drake? <laughs> Shut up. Cheating? Look, we do that face like this. Uh-uh. Yes. Let it go. I ain't touch some lost tail again. They good, but you know how I am a grab lip. <laughs> Break up part. Then give me a life. Oh yes, sir. Mm -mm. And please just the flappy meat that be in the in the lobster claw. Mm -mm. Michael and Bella are getting married in one week. Mm -hmm. They are both separately have both separately having a bachelor and bachelorette party. Michael makes out with another girl at his bachelor party, Michael, and doesn't tell <laughs> Bella. Is he cheating? Say it one more time. Michael and Bella getting married. Because I'll focus on this girl. Uh -uh. <laughs> I don't miss everything you said. <laughs> Michael and Bella get married in one week. Uh-huh. They Michael both had parties. Michael Bella. Yes. <laughs> Stop it. I did call that girl Bella. Um, hey, what? They both had bachelorettes. Bachelorettes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Michael kissed the lady at the party. <clears throat> he liked it. Stop. It didn't say that. Is he cheating, though? Yes. <laughs> yeah. He get married. You get married in a week and you out here kissing other women. Brad Brad. Could you imagine <clears throat> like I come and tell you the week before we get married I done kiss me, kiss me. You know one of his old hating ass friends. Uh uh. That ain't really his friend. He been looking at his his bride the whole time. Stop it. Probably like I just really thought I should <clears throat> let you know. Uh uh. Couldn't let it go on, you know. You're too good of a woman. I love my bro. I love my bro. Not a bro. <laughs> but I just couldn't. I couldn't keep this. I hope. Hope you can forgive him. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah, Michael. Mm. You ain't right. You ain't right in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. well, this crab leg is right to me. Huh? Stop. You didn't see her here. I kissed a girl and I liked it. The taste I of like your it. cherry chapstick. And what do that taste like? Cherry. Mm -mm. You know, um, I used to talk to this girl. She <coughs> always wore, um, Cherry Carmex. Really? Mm hmm. To the point that really, for a long time, I couldn't smell Cherry Carmex because it would just remind me. It's like, ugh. Mm -hmm. I like Carmex, but they said it's not good for you. Oh, yeah. Not your lips. I didn't know that. That's the only thing that really holds you. And Chapstick brand. Right. Everything else be like, dry now. It chap ice. <laughs> I still put it on. That's some book and uh -uh. make some chap ice. Chap lips. <clears throat> you got a lot of 
Katie said, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Katie better take her. Uh-uh. <laughs> Don't do Katie. All right. Let's see. Let me get my little money. Stop. <laughs> Nate has been dating Juliet for a few months. <clears throat> Nate meets Charles and they instantly <clears throat> hit it off. Nate has been exploring his sexuality lately. And in order to experiment, <clears throat> Nate makes out with Charles. Right. Is he... Is this cheating? Yes. Because <coughs> Nate. I see when they say dating, what do that mean? They're together. Oh. I feel like you're dating. Like you, somebody's. Like we dated. Oh. Before okay. we were married. Yeah. We were considered dating. I think. If you my girlfriend. You caught. You my girlfriend, All right? You caught. You caught. And yeah, if you want to experiment, you experiment single. You don't see here. Yeah. Be in a relationship with nobody. And Juliet girl. Out here kissing Charles in the mouth. Stop. It's trifling dot com. All right. What? Ah, it squirted in my face. Well, Nate, I guess you're wrong. <laughs> you wrong, Nate. You wrong, Nate. You so wrong. If you were Julie, what would you do? <laughs> I don't know what I do. Damn Lies. I'm going to play Boosie in the car and ride. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if it's Charles or Charlie. Stop. Okay. One you? thing I ain't never understood. Is maybe I'm just a different breed, but I, I when I was dating people, I just rather for you to tell me, you know, what you got going on. If you ain't looking for nothing, let me know. That way I don't sit here and hold my life up for years <clears throat> for what? <clears throat> well, if you ain't sure that you like what what you got. Right. What you got. If I'm not what you really looking for, let me know. I don't understand how we out here so <clears throat> you can't tell somebody exactly what you think. Can't have your cake and eat it too. That ain't how it work. Right. You are so right. And this crab leg is so good. Stop. <laughs> You know, some of these country crackers gonna tell you how to eat it anyway. <laughs> when I say cracker, I meant like cracker, like cracker. I don't want any confusion. No, not that. Country uh, crab yeah, cracker. That, ooh, that one good. Let me see, country crab cracker. I that's, just stopped. That's what I'm <laughs> I gotta clear that up before they try to. uh Let me go ahead and clear it up on the video so somebody can't take an excerpt and say, <sighs> listen to what he said. A crack. <clears throat> but you know, Sunday people live at the beach or in Charleston, been cracking crab all mm -hmm. their life. Yeah, but you eat that so bad. Maryland. It's getting neat. No, it's getting eat. <laughs> it's getting neat. That's all that matter. <clears throat> I didn't plan on eating crab legs today, but hey, so glad I did. <laughs> Look what the Lord has allowed. Gigi and William are dating. <clears throat> Gigi and her ex-boyfriend, Tim, are still good friends. While at the party, they all decide to play spin that D bottle. Oh, sh I thought you said spin on the D. Stop! On Gigi's <laughs> turn, the bottle lands on Tim. Tim is the friend. Gigi kisses Tim even though she's dating William. And William was right there. William was there. Well, William let it happen. 
They played that game. I mean, the game. They said they all decided. It was all pretty clear. I don't think it's cheap. No. If that's what y'all want to do, hey. Hey. If GG looked over at, uh, at Wim and were like, and Wim ain't say nothing, uh -huh. go on with your back. Now. They probably wanted to take it to the back anyway. You know, there's some freaks out there. <laughs> <coughs> Let me tell you something. Even if you looked at me and we was dating, no, Mr. William, I can't do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. And with most of these questions anyway, most of the time, either these people have issues or somebody on one end ain't as serious mm -hmm. as the other if, you know, you want to break this down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If you're out here cheating, stop and what you doing? <laughs> the Bible says <clears throat> repent. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give you no exact. Just stop it. Do you think people sometimes cheat because they're unhappy, I guess? Yeah. Or they freaks. Yeah. I can agree with that. Some people just... Don't just want to get involved with us, look. Yeah. And don't uh, admit that to the person you're with. So they go out here and do stuff behind closed doors. <clears throat> I just don't agree with infidelity. No. <clears throat> I'd rather just be straight up. Right. Out here doing your dirt. Right. And like you, we've said in the past when we talk about cheating, like you saying, if it's something that you can't get over, don't hold them folks. Right. Let them go. It was raining. It was raining. Sound like it. It's supposed to storm tonight. Oh, Lord. There's a st <coughs> mm. storm in my throat. <laughs> I got a whole little pile over here. Mm. <sighs> My lord. Mm. Mm. All right. Let me clean myself up real quick. Clean yourself up. Before I give y'all a dirty outro. Uh. <clears throat> oh lord. Ooh! Getting the dirt on me. Oh, crappy. Crabby. Hey right, guys, thank y'all for joining us today. This was absolutely delicious. As y'all can see, we smashed. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. It won't cost you nothing. Also, guys, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think of this video so that we can talk to you. You talk to me. I talk back. <laughs> share this video. Share it with your family, friends, everybody. Because Jenkins can. So care about us. Care, care about, about us. us. Y'all, we love everybody. Money out there. No more violence. <clears throat> you got anything else? No. Make a sound. Bye bye. What does I have to do? You know what I'm saying? What does that right. have to do with me? Now I can be like, you know, dead is some trifling stuff right there. You <laughs> <laughs> trifling one. You you trifling for that. But you know what I'm saying? I can't. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, if your relationship, like, like say if you don't have the greatest relationship with um, your step parent, it might look like you're trying to sabotage mm -hmm. the marriage. Well, second of all, the step parent might already know what's going on, right. but they just might like to pretend like everything's okay. So now you force problems to come to the surface, which can cause a whole nother step. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. <laughs> Even when I was younger, I used to have trouble telling my friends because I told one of my friends one time, she was like, y'all lying. I said, okay. Don't know what. Hey, everybody, I'm AJ. This is Danny. We are hashtag. 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 Hashtag the cannons. C-C-T-V.
Testing, testing. Is this thing on? Everybody, welcome back to our eating show. Ciao. All right, guys. So today we are back with another mukbang. This is round two for us. Y'all don't know this, but <laughs> we recorded this exact same mukbang the day before. Unfortunately, we had some audio problems and nothing recorded, so we have to do this again. But it's all good because we back in full effect. <laughs> so um, got a couple subtle differences here, but y'all don't know that. Anyway, y'all, we back with another move on, another seafood boil for you guys. All right, today we have some D shell king crab, some lobster tails. We have some small ones, and we have some large ones. We also have some sausage here, and um, some corn and boiled eggs. Those boiled eggs will be here in three, two, one. So yeah. If you know me, you know I have a habit of forgetting about boiled eggs and our <laughs> seafood boss. But it's all good, y'all. So, um, then it's going to hit you with a couple things and then we're going to jump into this. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And then after that, hit that post notification bell so that you know every time we upload it. Give this video a thumbs up. That's right, like you guys. It. Like the oh, we video. Did it twice. Oh, <laughs> yes. Give us a thousand likes. We need a thousand likes. Because we did it twice. <laughs> right. Yeah, y'all don't know. I'll post a clip in here just to prove it. But, uh, you know, um, remember, guys, hashtag grow, baby, grow. We're moving closer to 10K. Um, that's our goal as of right now. So, um, we're getting closer to closer to that goal. So, remember to, you know, just show some love. And also, also guys, if you'd like to get your own coldest water bottle, all you got to do is check out the link in the description box below. Use our code cannons with one N. Cannons with one N. That'll get you 10% off your entire order of the coldest water bottle. Like, all right, guys, we're going to say grace, and then we're going to get to eating this shibu. Mm -hmm. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food, and, that, and let it be nourished to our bodies, and it's your name we pray, amen. amen. All right, guys, so like I said, I'm just going to, we got the um, D-shell king crab in front, got the lobster tails, got the small red ones, and got the um, the larger ones here, um, also beef sausage, um, corn on the cob, and uh, eggs, and we also got, can't forget, the be love smack delicious sauce. That has been uh, marinating in all types of, you know. <laughs> Round two, like I said. <laughs> Let me go on the egg first. Oh, I need a egg. This sauce has gotten thicker since hate. last night already. Oh. I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut it with nothing. The reason I got y'all might say, why you got the big old lobster tails on your side? Because Danny prefers the small ones. Gotcha. So, <laughs> she has these. Even though I do prefer the red ones, to me they have a different flavor slightly. But they don't have any big red ones near us that I know of. So, um, I got these from Sam's. And I got the, um, the those small red ones from... Um, those food. Yeah, so let me get one of these jokers. This, time. this sauce has gotten thicker. Mm -hmm. I ain't cut it, which is fine with me. Cause, you know, I like it like that. Oh, cool one. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. Let me see if I cannot eat as hard as I did yesterday. I can't stand when I do that. <laughs> so, um. He's so eager. Mm. I'm gonna be like, AJ, why in the world he's got on a white shirt? It's actually already been stained from one of my previous mm -hmm. B Love sauce mukbangs, so, I mean, it ain't nothing special about it. It's probably hard to see this. Oh! It used to be a pack shirt. Might be. <laughs> Probably hard to see the stains on camera because you know bleach, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Mm -mm. Take my time. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> When I was younger, my parents would make me count in between my bites. You know how annoying that was? Oh, yeah, I said I was going to, um, 
focus the food for y'all who like to see the food because I know it's focused on our face. So that's that. <clears throat> I kind of like pan across everything. Well, I'll leave it there. I'll let it focus wherever it's going to focus. Mm -hmm. If you just, oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I know you? you had a corner of my iPad. <laughs> like, what you doing? <laughs> Beef sausages. I like one more day. I like them. It doesn't like here. Is it true? <laughs> you hear me? You know, those eggs are good in it. Be love sauce, but I don't, I've been seeing people do that challenge with that 24 eggs in it. And I don't think I can eat 24 eggs. I don't think I can eat 24 eggs by itself, much less than butter. <laughs> I don't care if it's just sauce. I, do I don't it. care if it's just butter sauce or if it's straight butter. I've seen some great attempts. <laughs> I can't eat 24 eggs. No. Hey, that dirty dozen took me out. That's 12. I'm about to eat 12. <laughs> How long was it since we ate eggs? Mm -hmm. Forever. This is not appropriate for this meat bone, but I'd like to put this sausage in some bread. That's good, man. With mustard. What? I'm telling you. Look, I got plans. <laughs> <laughs> I've been making plans for this mm -hmm. sausage. I want to try that chicken apple one, too. They got mm. chicken apple one in the same brand. Mm. These are beefy. I, I probably already said that, but mm -hmm. I prefer these over the pork ones for some reason. I just like to taste better. I like chicken apple sausages, well, the ones I've tried. I'm sure there's some out there that probably be like, <laughs> Tackle this bad boy. Mm-mm. Tackle this, baby. It's a hig. <laughs> Jamming to it. Usually you be like, no. Stop it, quit it. It's a hunk of meat right there, boy. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Here I go. And my thick sauce too is thick. It's it like if you eat it, freeze it. Every time you eat it and freeze it, it lose some of its thinness. So you either gotta cut it with some water or some or some coke. Or butter, or whatever you gonna cut it with, if you wanna loosen it up. Cause every time, every time you eat it and freeze it, 
it get a little thicker, but I like it thick. I like to be able to, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? I'm eating. Believe it or not, because these were some of the um, smaller lobster tails. You see how big this is? I got two bites out of it. I took some big bites. <laughs> well, how big was the thing? Big. It was something in there bigger than that. I was like, uh, uh. All of them were big. These are the like smallest that. ones that they had today. <laughs> Those lobster tails were so huge. We could have got the big ones, but I went out of now. <laughs> No, no, no. You good on that? I don't know, man. I like the big prawns, the big crab legs. I mean, crab legs is one thing, because, you know, but the lobster tails, you know. <laughs> this is about as big as I need, because they're already big. Some of those are like, the like, if y'all watch me love, you know, the last really big one she had on there, I'm pretty sure they were bigger than that. They were so huge. Now, I'm just like, what does the lobster look like? The rest of his body, right? Right. <laughs> Eat your face off. Because <laughs> these were like, they had a pack in there. I'm pretty sure that one was, um, was, um, double these. Like, double. You put both of these together, it was as big as that, that one of them in a pack. I said, good. Mm -hmm. Where they go fishing at? But, uh, we had one in there some weeks ago, and all of them was like pretty small. I mean, they were bigger than like those, but they weren't even as big as these. They were like uh, medium size. Them duckles in there now, boy. Hands of my head. <laughs> I don't know if they grow on them or what. <laughs> and Jack did them with something. So somebody had messaged me earlier mm -hmm. about some shoes I was selling on Facebook. And you know one thing I don't like when I sell something up there is when somebody try to haggle me. Oh, they go haggle. Like, oh. Uh, so. I'll tell you what I do. <laughs> and what you ought to do. If I'm selling for something for seventy five dollars uh -huh. that I know is worth well worth ninety dollars. Mm -hmm. But I'm willing to take seventy five. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna post it for about a hundred. Right. Because these people, most of them know that they got a quality price. It's different if you're selling something, you know, overpriced. Mm -hmm. If I'm selling something for, that I know is worth ninety dollars, most time it's probably worth the hundred too. But you know, what I'm saying, like I said, I'll take seventy five at least. So what I'm doing is I'm post that joker for a hundred dollars mm -hmm. because there's people are going to try to n negotiate your price that you want no matter what. So if you put it up there for seventy five dollars, if I want, if I take seventy five dollars, they're gonna try to get that down. To 50. About fifty. I was about to say fifty. Even though it's worth, it's worth, uh, it's worth ninety. They'll try to get it down to fifty. So I just go ahead and post it for a hundred because, and it works in their mind. They feel like as long as they work you down, you know what I'm saying. Then they've 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 got a deal. So, which me when I'm looking up there to buy something, if I see the price of it and to me it's reasonable, I'm not gonna. Which I guess some people are just like that, you know. They just like the yeah. Some people Jew folk down. My dad is one of them. He got. I, I think he thinks of it as a game. Mm -hmm. Like, let me see how low I can get them. Even though he probably would have paid for it, you know, from the jump. 
Mm-hmm. But I think he sees it as a game. But if I see something up there that's reasonable priced, I'll just go ahead. Okay, let's meet up. I'm going to get it. Look. So, girl, I told you these shoes is brand new. You trying to talk about what you take 15. And I had them up there for 25 and I paid 40 for them. No, I right, can't now take some stuff I, I'll go ahead and say. Not, don't even bother. You know what I'm saying? Don't even bother, you know. Going and you can even stuff. say firm and they like... I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> right. I'm gonna try it anyway and see. I heard when people, I've got some people that try to argue with me. Bro, no is no. Right. Like, go on. Because like. this is mine. Right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like well, nobody's gonna pay. Well, I said no, so. And then, I'll wait to let somebody do. Right. <laughs> or, or nobody, if, they got, if they're not gonna get it, then they're not gonna get it. Right. Like, I'm not in the rest. Who's pressed? Me or you? Because I'm not. I'm definitely not. Right. Which I see those, like those let goes and those offer up and Facebook yard sale. I see them as a good tool. I'm glad they do. Because, you know, some people be having brand new stuff up there mm-hmm. that you can get. All these people with these electronics be tripping. You do know you use that, right? <laughs> you used it. Y'all, I'm going to let AJ eat for y'all. I can't. <laughs> let me see if I can eat this egg. I ain't just going to come out and say you're not eating. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm going to let AJ eat for y'all. Eat this egg. No, I'm sure y'all can understand. It's our second day eating seafood. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I just gonna come out and say I ain't. I didn't say I ain't. I said I was done. What does that mean? I'm done. Because <laughs> you're not eating. Right? Mm-mm. No. It don't mean that. So, AJ. Hmm? If you saw your dad cheating with his phone, like text messages, texting another lady, would you tell your stepmom or would you just let it rock? My stepmom? Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> let me uh, use me because you, you being messy. <laughs> I answer he wouldn't. Anyway, <laughs> let's say I saw... My dad <laughs> with another woman, not my real mom. He had married somebody else. Depending on the relationship I have with her, I might tell her, and then again, I might not. Cause I feel like you getting yourself in a in a hole Very well. that you don't want to be in. It just depends on the situation. Yeah, it depends. Like um. I probably wouldn't. I mean, I probably wouldn't even if. It's not my business for one. And, um, like, um, and you grown. Right. <laughs> you need to be able to tell them, you know, if you just finish or whatever. And then they might already know. Right. I'm about to sit out here and be like, uh, yo, this N word cheating on you. <laughs> because, first of all, first of all, she might already know. Second mm-hmm. of all, what, is, what does that have to do? You know what I'm saying? What does that right. have to do with me? Now, I could be like, you know, that is some trifling stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> you trifling one. You, you trifling for that. But, you know what I'm saying? I can't. Mm-hmm. Because, first of all, if your relationship, like, like, if you don't have the greatest relationship with um, your step parent, it might look like you're trying to sabotage mm-hmm. the marriage. Well, second of all, the step parent might already know what's going on, right. but they just might like to pretend like everything's okay. So now you force problems to come to the surface, which can cause a whole nother step. It's none of my business. It's none <laughs> of my business. Even when I was younger. I usually had trouble telling my friends because 
I told one of my friends one time, she was like, y'all lying. I said, okay. Told her what? I told her her boyfriend was cheating on her. Oh, I ain't know what you were talking about. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I told her her boyfriend was cheating on her. But she ain't believe us, me and my friend. Uh-uh. And so I said, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got a little mall where I'm from. AJ know that mall. It's a hallway. And um, we took her in that mall. Cause I knew he was still there. She went to work. And I took her in that mall. And she over here talking about that ain't him. I said, whatever, dude. Whatever. I'm leaving. If you don't think that's him, because that show sure enough is him with that girl. That's her. Right there. Mm-hmm. Talking about it ain't her. I said, okay. Well, you be the fool then. I'm out of here. And that's the thing. Most time, if you try to, um, like this, like perfect example when people um if you know what I'm saying even if even if they don't know for sure and they have suspicions if they depending on how long they've had their suspicions if they'd ignored it that whole time you think they're gonna listen to you right but I'm like because that, if, I'm if showing that's the case, you to your face if that's the case then they probably ignored every obvious sign that they were cheating right and so and if, you, if you if they've already done that, then that means that they're trying not to face reality. And so you can't make nobody for they just try to they they villainize you mm-hmm. and make it look like you um like you uh yep. got something some you kind of vendetta. And you just jealous. Okay, well be jealous in the dummy. You don't know. <laughs> Tell me. Because the thing was that if I hadn't said anything to you and then you found out and then figured out that I had already knew You'd have got mad mm-hmm. because I didn't tell you. But I tell you, and then you don't believe me, and I give you evidence, and you still don't want to believe me, and then go right about your business. I be over here living my best life. I'm living my best life. While you getting cheated on working right down the street. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, man. Like, <laughs> you know, you got all types. Can't want a man that big. You got all types of people. Some people be ready to, um, to catch their <laughs> spouse cheating. Some people, you know, will not, they're not facing Shun it. I they, don't they, see you can, it. You can sit there and then, you know what I'm saying, they can lead a, they can lead the phone out, you know what I'm saying, with the message and bleep, 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 just coming through <laughs> while they're in the shower and you just ignore it. You know good and well there's somebody else on that phone and you walk past it. You know what I'm saying? Um, not saying that you should go look at the across the phone, but I'm just saying. <laughs> there could be obvious signs, you know what I'm saying? The man come home smelling like perfume, woman come home smelling like somebody else's cologne, and you know what I'm saying? And then you just ignore it. You know, so some people right. some people do that, and then there's some people who are more confrontational. But in any case, you know what I'm saying? That's a delicate, <laughs> <Raise his hand. laughs> that's a delicate subject, especially when you're dealing with a step-parent. If it was my real parent, then I might be like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. You need to tell her. Because well, I don't saying? want to. Well, I'm going to tell her. I, I- <laughs> You but, need to tell it because I don't want to. But I'm just like, and then it's in the same situation, but at least that's your real parent. Right. I mean, they can't say nothing more than you were looking out for one because that's your real mom mm-hmm. or real dad or whatever. But, you know, I personally, in a step, in a, in a, um, in the case of a step parent, <laughs> in the case you know, of I, a just, little baby. I just, <laughs> right. <laughs> I just, right. <laughs> baby. I will mind my own blank blank business. Uh uh-uh. uh. Because. I know blank blank business. Uh, I don't have to talk. Okay, and I don't want no parts. And if the first time you try to tell me that I'm just trying to do something, I'm like, okay. And you just go you ahead. You go ahead and sit there and look dumb. <laughs> Forget right I said on anything. Him. Yeah. But, uh. <sighs> I'm gonna put tomorrow this sausage in the bread <laughs> with some mustard and cheese. Mm-hmm. I, I take it with the slice, the sliced bread or the oven. Mm-hmm. Either way. Now there are some things with sliced bread. That I'm just me and a hamburger and sliced bread ain't never been friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> we ain't never been friends. And I've had it so many times. My mama don't have bread. I just I'm hate like, the way that the burger <laughs> bubbles and up. And it has this thing. I hate the way it. the burger bubbles up in the light bread. And then you got this. You got these little corners that do this like. This little. This type thing. This number here. And then you know what I'm saying. You got the grease. 
coming through, making uh -huh. a circle, and then you got these dry parts on the outside. How That's did why you described that so well. Because you know what I mean. Like yeah, I, I prefer do. the bun because it fits. Which some people like it with the sliced bread. I think and it's that, great with yeah. the sliced. It tastes good because it's soft part. Right. But it's just the outside. I don't prefer just, it. It's jacked up. <laughs> Give me the bun. But I mean, if I gotta eat it with sliced bread, bring it on. Uh uh. Let's get it on. When I was younger, I used to pick the crust off, you know, the brown part. So that just really was not a good thing for me because I didn't have nothing holding it. I might as well have took a fork to that. I mean, then sometimes, depending on how greasy your burger is, even if you kind of like peel the crust off the edge, sometimes when you go to squeeze the bite, you be not smash <laughs> the soft flat bread, white bread be so, so soft that it gets flat against your burger. So now you really don't have no bread. You just kind of like, it's kind of just smushed on there. But... Hey man, hey. I'm finna put this on a slice something tomorrow. Oh yeah, I don't care what kind of bread. Okay. Yo bread, mama bread, <laughs> his bread, brother no, bread. No, you, you need to put it, you can't use no bread. Why I can't use bread? You gotta put it in a lettuce. I'm not doing no lettuce. <laughs> that ain't no, huh? It's like, nobody wants to put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Okay. <laughs> It better be some audio on this video. I'm fighting this mic. I know. I'm <laughs> me, <quick>. and this, <laughs> <laughs> me and this mic gonna fight. I'm done with YouTube. This is it. <laughs> I can't keep going through this type of stress. <sighs> oh, shoot. Man, y'all already know. We like, we like seafood. We do, we do. But it's hard for us to eat the same seafood two days in a row. Like, some people can. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it was, it was still good. But yeah. it's like, you know. Yeah, it just gets harder and harder. Especially, you know, some people can, hey, bust it out every day. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why y'all don't see seafood mukbangs every other mukbang or every mukbang on our channel. We like chicken. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I guess down with everything else, you know, as well. You know, I like a variety. You know what I'm saying? Give me a color, a color swatch. Give me something to choose from, you know what I'm saying? That's enough. Give me. That's enough. What? Okay. Colors. Give me a swatch. A swatch book. What you got? I swatch. don't know. Yeah. I don't know. No, I am a cheater. So. So. Back to the cheating thing. So, um. If your step. Oh, let's switch it up. If your stepmama's cheating on your daddy, would you tell him? If my stepmama, if you caught, if you caught, cheating on my dad, if you was out at the store and you happen to see her in a restaurant with another man, uh, hugged up and close, but let's say you was um like you was out and about in another city, and you saw her uh, hugged up two towns over with some other dude at a restaurant, would you tell your dad? Because I like my daddy. I probably still would not. Um, if I saw her, I'd make sure she saw me. Especially if you got. You I would make sure she saw me. Like I'm fitting to stand in the <laughs> <laughs> in the Italian restaurant glass like this. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm going there. Girl, I ain't know you come on this side uh, of town. Shit, I was just in the mood for some spaghetti today. How you doing? Yeah, don't you want to give me a meal? How you doing, mister? Yeah, as soon as I see her, you better tell my daddy what you was doing. Before I do. And you, <laughs> you, you gonna give me $500? I think I'm I, telling it. I think I'd go out of my way to be seen, too. I don't care I don't care what kind of relationship I got with her. Oh, she gonna see me. Whether it's, right. a, whether it's a bad relationship or a good relationship. She gonna see me. I just want you to know, I see you. How you know this man? <laughs> Who is this man? Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, I know her. She kind of married to my daddy. I don't know. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I, I still don't know that I say anything. No, well, just I probably would. I just, he could be out here, you know what I'm saying, parlaying to the like, eh, Do you eh. know how many times my mama told me stay out grown folk business? Like, that's could, what I'm going to do. He could be bumping, grinding across town, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know, so. Yeah, you know, me and Daniel had this conversation before. You know how we was talking about like um, I'm just saying like um, uh, in my opinion, like this is just kind of going in that cheating category, because I know um people who have cheated um, 
who have been cheated on, who you know, who who are married, and, you know, people deal with it all the time in different ways. But I think one of the main things I think that um, is important is if you know that you cannot handle whether you're in a relationship, especially if you're in a marriage. You know, even though marriages you tend to want to try to make work, mm -hmm. if you know that you cannot handle the fact that this person has cheated on you, you need to go ahead and cut ties, let it go. Even if you I'll got children, it's because the thing is, is um. You can't try to make something work if you're going to constantly accuse that person of doing the same thing, um, even though they're not. Or even though, you know what I'm saying, just because of what they've done in the past. Because then it's not going to, you know what I'm saying, you're not going to get anywhere. And then it's only going to sour the marriage anyway, even if that person has already come, um, especially if they're trying their best, you know, to make up for their mistakes and um, move forward. But, you know what I'm saying, everything that makes you suspect you question where are you going where you been well and you keep bringing up the past when you cheated out of that that will sour our marriage anyway so i feel like a lot of people you know what i'm saying don't and um they don't they don't let it go you know what i'm saying and i think if you're gonna if you're gonna try to make your relationship work you gotta learn how to let that go so I'm not saying that it's not gonna be hard to regain trust after the incident but if you say okay where do we go from here? And then y'all say, okay, we're going to try to work it out. And you got to leave that there in the dirt. Even if you look at that and say, you lying, cheating, whatever. Mm -hmm. Even if that's what you see for, for the next time, you said uh, you agreed to make it work. You can't keep calling that person that because you already know what happened now. And you agree to move forward. I think that's um, that's a problem I've seen in a lot of relationships where people have cheated is you know what I'm saying the other party hasn't been able to let it go now if you say if you do it again I'm done then you know what I'm saying at least get a person a chance to mess up you know what I'm saying don't sit here and wait for the mess up <laughs> you might as well go ahead and call it quits there but a lot of the problem is a lot of people they um even though they uh might want to leave the relationship or whatever they also don't want that other person to be with anybody else so they rather just stay with them and make the other person life hell and keep accusing them of cheating and what they did in the past and bringing this up and you know what I'm saying that's who wants to live like that who wants to live like that I have a close friend you know what I'm saying who who dealt with a lot of that and um you know what I'm saying what they did what he did was wrong but at the same time you know he I feel like that, that was a point where he was trying to make things right but Hey, can't always, you know, the other party's not always going to see it that way. I just think it's important for you to at least try if you, if, if you, um, if you don't leave. Ain't no trying for me. I'm just right, leaving. Right. If you, if you <laughs> leave, like if you're going to leave, leave, then you know leave. what I'm saying? But don't sit here. Right. Then leave. <laughs> but, uh, That's what I'm going to do because I ain't good at it. Right, I, mean, but, I know me. I wouldn't be good at it. Yeah. I wouldn't say anything, but it would be. It would probably torment me more than it would him. Every time, but I'm just like every time you got to be accused. Every time you you gone five minutes longer than you said you're gonna be gone. Every time you got to, you know what I'm saying. It's the third degree. Every time you go anywhere, who you texting, you know what I'm saying. You 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 worried up in the middle of the night trying to look at the other person's phone, you know what I'm saying. And then the other person is stressed out because you keep trying to search that phone and. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. That's unnecessary. I don't know why people put themselves through that type of torture. I'm just like, end it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like I said, I think people just, they inherently are um, possessive. And after something like infidelity, they, they, they know they can't handle it. They know they couldn't handle it the first time it happened. But at the same time, they still don't want that person to um, willingly be with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So, they just keep on and keep hating the person while they're together. But, they, you know, just knowing good and well that they can't, you know, I can't. But anyway, that's my little spiel on that. Yeah, his soapbox. <laughs> A soapbox. Come on, girl. Let's finish this mukbang. Finish what? Just at least finish the crap. I can't. At least finish the crap. Okay, you was crazy. <laughs> All that up there. <laughs> I will throw up everywhere. Oh, anyway. Did you leaning over there? I need there? a massage. Give me no, a... I'm not. Right here. You need to get off me. You're a little tight. No, I don't like fucking right face. Here. Yeah, we got y'all a long video today. Right, because he long. 
<laughs> no, well, some people was asking for a longer video. Some people said our videos are too short. So, I mean, y'all don't always get longer videos, but when you get them, hey, you got them. Because it's probably, at the cuts, it'll probably be 30 minutes anyway. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. 34. Five. You don't know. <laughs> you don't. Hey, <laughs> edit. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. Hopefully, y'all can hear everything I'm saying right now because the audio is recording this time. Because if uh, not, make sure you I'm going to fight this mic. <laughs> make sure, the mic on the floor. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. Uh, drop uh, Like this video. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think, guys. We love to interact, interact with you in the comments. Also, guys, remember to share, share, share this video with your family, friends, loved ones. Let them know what we got going on in this channel because sharing is caring. So do what? Care about us. Care about us. Anyway, guys, we love you so much. We appreciate y'all. Bye-bye. Take us all. Bye-bye. <laughs> that one little crab piece. That made you do all that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Squirting. Mm -mm. <laughs> it was you. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny with hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag. hashtag. hashtag the cannon. CCTV. Alright guys, welcome back to the Eating Show. Yeah. Alright guys, today we are back with another mukbang, and today guys, we will be having a seafood boil. Alright guys, this seafood boil is coming all the way from the Juicy Crab. Juicy crab. That's what we got, Juicy Crab. So I'm going to explain everything that we got in this boil in just a minute, but first, y'all already know, then I'm going to hit you with a couple things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have to hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give this video a thumbs up, like it. That's right, guys. Hit that button. Hit, hit that, that bell. Make sure you become part of the family. Guys, remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the camp's moving closer. I go up 50,000 subscribers. If you're a part of that number in any way, I want to say welcome to the channel. Y'all know the vibes. It's time to eat. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pray so we can get in. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourished for our bodies. And bless those who less fortune. All these things we got to see in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. So, juice crab seafood boil. What we got in here, we got some snow crab. We got some Dungeness crab, guys. We got a little bit of, um, we got some sausage, some corn, potatoes. That's what we're going to be eating on today. And so, yeah. So, hey, man. Y'all already know we had a couple bad experiences with the new juice crab here. But it's all good. Hopefully they were doing this other day. Mm -hmm. Even though they kind of messed up. Uh-uh. When, when I went to pick up the food, <laughs> I was about to have, um, have to call my lawyer. Tell him to tell the me lawyer. And handle it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Get it right. My lawyer, that's me. Mm -hmm. It's one of my split personalities. That's Al, Al Jero, other AJ. Why I got to be Al Jero? He's going to call up this. Excuse me. Yeah, just a crab. Is this that crab? Uh-uh. <laughs> This is crazy. Yeah, this is Adro Esquire. And I was calling on behalf of AJ on YouTube. Yes, hashtag. And you did. That's right. You know the channel. Mm -mm. Uh, Y'all messed up his order. And we're going to have to do some reconciliations and negotiations to handle that. You know what I'm saying? Boy, if you don't get. So, y'all, you know, I'm trying not to get. I'm going to get. I don't already told my shirt up. Set up. Because this is messy. And this is also juicy crab sauce on the side. I just made this extra because I have the seasoning. Kind of look like Mama Cousin sauce. A little bit done. Look, look at that blessed sauce. That blessed sauce. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me see. I done had sauce jam potato. Let me get this corn. I ain't going to dip it because it's already. Mm.
Hey man. <laughs> I ain't mad at the tongue now. <laughs> I have not. It's a little been. sweet. I have to put a little berry here just in case any juice try to run and get mm. trapped. I might have to go for another point. I'm probably trying to go with it, right? <laughs> Sauce is fire too. Mm -hmm. What kind of sauce is that? It tastes like, mm -hmm. what's that little spicy sauce? It's like, mm -hmm. kind of like red hot some way. What's fire? Okay. I'm gonna go snow first. I don't know how I get now. My snow crab. I'm talking to you. Dad. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bro. Just crab that fire sauce to it. Mm -hmm. That just is fire and desire. Not fire and desire. I want you. Mm -mm. I know y'all don't be liking us to eat seafood a lot, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been I a while. saw Lips in production eating it yesterday. I was like, mm, that looks good. Right. <laughs> I usually don't follow behind folk videos, but I've been craving crab legs for a while. And last time I went to get my own, I was disappointed. Oh, she looking at me. I'm looking at her. And what's she saying? She saying, baby, won't you give me? Uh-uh. <laughs> she said she she know what I want and she got it. Mm-mm. Look at my hand. Damn. Yep. <laughs> that one little crab piece. Made you do all that. Mm mm mm. 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 Squirt and shit. Mm. <laughs> it was you. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. It was you. You looked at me like that. I was just. That is a word. That's used for other reasons. So please. W-E. Get your mind out of gutter. That was nice. Too strong. Mm -hmm. mm. What? Sound like something. Don't, don't. Mm -hmm. mm. What was that? Every time I go on that sauce, it made me do stuff. Where are you going? Away, away. Come here, bye. Mmm. God told me. He got a snow crab. Hmm? I said, you, got, you eating a snow crab. Yeah, I'm eating a snow cluster right now. Oh, the dungeon is good. I'm not I talking about it in the car. <laughs> it's hard for me to. Like leave when when I start on a crab cluster, it's hard for me to just have to not eat the whole cluster before I eat something else. Mm -hmm. Right, I feel like I gotta finish it. Mm. This meat is just good too. You can tell it ain't like like what boiled in water. Mm -hmm. I feel like some people be boiling that seafood in straight water. And then be trying to add it to sauces and stuff. Right, plain water, and you can tell it don't wash that. Mm. 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 Mm.
So crab is naturally salty and stuff. Watch it! I'm tired of you and eat. Too eager. Oh, might be a little bit of noise making on this video. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I might have to start putting a disclaimer at the front of the videos because, you know, we don't do the most smacking and it's crazy off too. We don't do the most smacking and wide open, you know, mouth chewing and stuff like that. But every now and then, yeah, <laughs> we do compensate while eating, so I might be a little food in my mouth. All right. Some people don't know that, so I have to let them know so they know what to expect, you know, huh? Well, not sitting in front of the Queen of England. <laughs> right, boy. Mm. Mm -mm. You know what? What? My least favorite part of any crab leg is the claw. Uh -huh. Unless, okay. unless, unless it's this part, the actual leg part. Even on king crab, it's a stupid. I'll be trying not to use my teeth. <clears throat> no need to take their life expectancy in it. Let me fill the damn. They redeemed themselves today. They did. Mm -hmm. This is fire. This is straight fire. I don't want to eat good. Does it feel like Christmas time to you? I don't know. <laughs> Not really. Mm -hmm. Almost mm -hmm. weird. No. Maybe I need to play some Christmas music. Got a fresh tea, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, In a way, it does. It feels more crispy than it did last year. I take it out. Yeah. Definitely ain't feel like it last year. <clears throat> I think we were still a little shell shocked from COVID, though. Mm hmm. Potato. Sure, yeah. They good, too. <laughs> From a mile long way, Lord, I thank you for being my help. You need to get that garbage out of your room. You need to get that. You need to get that, that shit off the floor. Let me wash that uniform. You need to go in and take your bath. That's what you need to do. You need to come in here and take your bath from. This is Dungeon Ace. See what he's talking about. It's good. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't realize my glass was. <laughs> In the way, I know somebody's gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be going off on me like that. You're blocking your whole plate. Mm -mm. I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. In your honor, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Mm. 
mean, I believe it or not. You know, very first time eating that's just crap. And, and my first time too. I had no idea that shells were so soft. Because they look hard. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe handle the hell. Yeah, that was what really it took me a while, so I don't what the hell. Need a shave. Not a shave. <laughs> yeah, just, unless it's just this one. But that shit yeah, was fairly soft. So, and I have some foods, mm -hmm. and I want to know if you would eat them past the best by date. <laughs> <laughs> Sliced bread. <laughs> it's a no for me, good. <laughs> I can't do it. Because um, bread, it starts smelling moldy before the mold get there. Yeah. And, and I can't. And I feel like you taste it, it, it tastes sour. Right. Before, and I can't. Because I haven't tried to eat it after. So <laughs> that date tell me it's about to go out. And I taste anything funky. That's the end of it. Mm, it's going to make me about to throw up. Mm -mm. It's going to ruin my whole sandwich. I can't do it. Mm. I don't play with bread. Which I know you get freeze bread, but my mama used to do that and I ain't know. Like she pulled it out and put it in the refrigerator. I said, uh, excuse me. This was a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay. My whole story. Um, uh, ground beef. <clears throat> Gotta smell it. How far are we talking? <laughs> How long has it been <laughs> unthawed? It's just too many questions. So it's just a mess. Oh, I might. But I gotta smell it. I got a good nose for me. Mm -hmm. My nose will tell me everything I need to know. Because I know what fresh, I know what fresh beef smell like. And I know, don't get me wrong, because even if you talk about ground beef, some beef, some depending on the cut, smells different. Mm -hmm. Smells stronger. So, I still know when it's just a strong cut. Mm -hmm. so, so really like, or like even Angus <coughs> has a stronger smell to me. Yo, I know when it's out. Mm -hmm. I ain't playing with it when, once I smell it, mm -mm, I throw that whole pack in mm -hmm. Milk. <laughs> I smell some milk. I smell it, but it, <clears throat> if I milk can have a little funky smell when it won't to, too. Yeah, uh, when it won't to, <laughs> milk be out here stinking, and then if it's almost there, don't ask me why I know this. Because, like, <laughs> what? <laughs> why I know when it's almost there, the cereal be tasting weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like with milk. I already got a little smell. Mm-hmm. And me trying to figure out when the date close about to go or pass. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't do good in distinguishing. Even though I feel like funky raw milk, I mean not raw milk, but spoiled milk, you're gonna know it. Mm -hmm. But I when it's right there, I just don't and then so I'm not gonna enjoy my I'm not gonna enjoy my food anyway. Mm -hmm. Especially in a bowl of cereal. Now if I'm putting in a recipe, I might go ahead if it don't smell too bad. Because I ain't gonna have to but straight milk, mm -mm. <laughs> can't do it. I'm gonna be too paranoid over it. So now I'm like, if I smell any little bit, it's enough. Mm -mm. <laughs> Bag lettuce or salad? Most of the time, that stuff be going out before the right. day. You usually don't got wet. But the way uh, these recalls are set up these days, mm. it's enough for me, big <laughs> red. Um, eggs. I don't like play with eggs like that. No, I don't do that either. I don't, you know, because how, really, how am I going to know <laughs> until I crack it open? I don't, I don't do eggs. Eggs are usually fairly cheap anyway, so. Mm-hmm, just throw it out. Mm-hmm. 
loose that and let that go. At one point, we buy 18 eggs for what, a dollar? Mm-hmm. <laughs> eggs go up and down. They be playing. Them and milk. Maybe get a little bougie. Let me buy these egg legs best this time. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm trying to do it up. No, nah, but one time I did. I think I'm about to start looking for those eggs I saw in Granny Refrigerator. What time were they? I don't know, but they were, uh, they come, they, they like, must be like fresh eggs from mm -hmm. what they sell in the store. They come in a hard plastic carton, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> but when I cooked them, those are the ones I cooked before we left that day, and they were really good. Mm -hmm. And then they had like the yolks and everything, this had a much more vibrant color to them. I said, This day is fire fire. Mm -hmm. Say, All right, uh, Joyce, <laughs> <laughs> um, Doritos. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give them a, a go. Once they get chewy, I don't want them. Mm -mm. I'll give them a go. If they chewy, I'm in. Mean. Depending on how far. Speaking of how far with canned food. Hell no. Uh huh. <laughs> Cause canned food expirations already be way out. <laughs> I gotta no, start eating potatoes now. <laughs> mm, they're so good. And it's juicy crab sauce. Or is it blessed sauce? They done tricked it. <laughs> mm. mm. What are you saying? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Too busy trying to eat. Um, I think the last one I had to with Doritos. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, <clears throat> chips in general, I mean, unless they just, you know, old as dirt, you don't know. I don't think too many people check an expiration date when they're looking at their chips. No. You go off your taste. I mean, it ain't going to kill you if they look stale, but if they taste stale, then I don't. That's when I look. They ain't, they ain't, <laughs> right, yeah, that's when you look. They ain't enjoyable no more. Doing? They're no longer enjoyable because. Even though you be wanting to <laughs> keep eating them, every time you bite down, you, you start chewing, you be like. You don't even really be chewing, you just be pushing around on your teeth, mm -hmm. just sliding across. <laughs> Man, yeah. Uh, shredded cheese. <clears throat> it depends on how desperate I am, what time it is. <laughs> right. It depends on what it looked like and what it smelled like. Mm -hmm. I don't do no more than cheese, bro. Some people just knock it off. Uh-uh. I can't knock it off. Well, if it's shredded, it ain't gonna, but most times you don't see too much bone on shredded cheese, but you, you can tell by cheese. Cheese got a look to it when it ain't no good. Mm -hmm. And when it look like it ain't no good, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't touching it. You be just sitting in there just like, <laughs> Come get next to his neighbor like, <laughs> Cause it's all jacked up, and it's all dry. Everything, um, all the color done there. No, you don't want that. You don't want that. Mm -hmm. But cheese be old anyway. If you eating real cheese, American cheese and Belvedere and stuff like that, you might as well take it a little bit further. <laughs> this process is built to last anyway. I like the Energizer Buddy. You might as well, but even regular cheese, it's um, it's aged usually. So, mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> what? I'm finished. I'm finished. Hmm. You're finished. It's so good. I keep eating these stupid sausages. <clears throat> I didn't expect to keep smashing this bowl, but. <laughs> mm. So fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, juicy crab. <laughs> Guess I'll stop saying stuff about you right now. 
somehow. I ain't never had a problem with the food. Mm-mm. What is it? The service and mm-hmm. the raggedy folk they had working in there. Be smelling a little funny. Now that one day, <laughs> I said if I go pick my food up and it's thinking here today, then I'm gonna just have, they just gonna have to refund me, please. Refund me, please. Not refund me, please. Refund. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was. I ain't done. Just let y'all know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Video. <laughs> Might need to be done though, but it's so, it's so good. But thank y'all for joining us today. We really do appreciate y'all. This boy. Hey, this day fifth, six, five. Don't you go back. Six. This is six. Today, today six. Cause we didn't say it yesterday. Six day nine, cause one. But this is day six, mukmas or vlogmas, both, whatever. Mm. It's, we doing it's every a day. Must. We're doing that every day. Y'all gonna see us every day. If you wanna be here, we'll be here. So, um, yeah. Thank y'all for joining us for this delicity. <laughs> delicity. <laughs> for this delicious holiday seafood meal. Uh, uh. <laughs> if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to our channel, guys. Remember, uh, hit that like button. Give this video a thumbs up because it's free. And you must like it, especially if you listen to me right now. I mean, you watch the whole video. So please, 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 like this video, guys, and share this video. Share it because sharing is caring. And also remember to comment because we'll talk to you. Yes. You talk to me, I talk back. And um, comment, talk to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will you come on drink? I'm asking you what this part, where you show what you gotta say. I and, just did. Come and talk to me. Well. <laughs>